Hi class, today we are going to discuss human adaptations, how and why they evolved. To do this, we are going to play a game. I will show you a group of images, give a description of a human adaptation, then let you guess which image matches the description I gave. I will give you a second or two before I state the correct answer. Then I will read why a particular adaptation occurred in humans. At the end of this game, we will review. Okay, it's time for... Name that adaptation! I aid in chewing and the crushing ability to help break down food. What am I? Massacatory muscles. Humans and primates both have these muscles. They evolved in humans due to a change in diet. Primates, such as gorillas, have a high sagittal crest and the temporalis muscles sit horizontally, creating this crest, or raised cranium. The horizontal muscles are due to gorillas' diet, which requires a slicing motion. The adaptation in humans occurred when diet changed, and humans needed to crush food. Their temporalis muscles became vertically angled. I am the hardest substance in the body and great for diets of both soft and especially hard foods. What am I? Enamel. The human diet is varied, and humans consume food that is soft, like lettuce, to foods that are hard, like nuts. Because of this variety, we evolved a thick enamel. Thick enamel helps to protect the softer layers underneath, as well as grind and slice various foods. I am important in the human ability to stand upright. I am there for the passage of the spinal cord to the brain. What am I? Foramen magnum. The hole at the bottom of the cranium lets the spinal cord adjust vertically and puts the head atop the body. The foramen magnum is superior to the ribcage and inferior to the occipital. I have curves in thoracic lumbar and lumbar areas. I help shift weight forward and center it. I also have certain bones that are very supportive and carry weight. I stay in the axial area of the body. What am I? S-shaped spine. Unlike non-human primates that have a curved spine running the length of the body, humans have an S-shaped spine that keeps the body's center of gravity above the pelvis. The human spine also contains large lumbar vertebrae that support the weight of all the body parts located superior to it. I am an essential element in bipedalism. I used to be long, but now I am short and broad. Muscles connect to me to give support while walking. My shape reflects the upright position when walking. What am I? Pelvis. Humans were able to evolve a bipedal form of locomotion due to the pelvis drastically adapting. In non-human primates, the pelvis is long and positioned posteriorly and horizontal to aid in quadrupedalism. Humans can walk on two feet because the pelvis is connected to muscles that keep the hips stable during walking. I aid in standing. I am not straight, but angled. I am located inferior to the ilium and superior to the fibula. What am I? Femur bone. The human femur is angled toward the middle of the body. It centers the knees under the body. In non-human primates, the femur is straight 
not angled, and causes non-human primates to teeter side to side when they do walk upright. Owen Lovejoy believed I was important in initiating bipedalism, but not for the same reasons that Darwin theorized. Lovejoy theorized that my use and shape evolved to provide both food for my family and protection from predators. What am I? Hands. The human hand lost the curvature of the phalanges, as curved and long phalanges were not necessary, as bipeds ceased to spend time traveling by vertical clinging and leaping or suspensory locomotion. Humans were no longer arboreal. They were terrestrial, and their hands adapted. I have an arch that gives leverage when the body moves forward, and I am an observer, absorber of shock when a human is walking or running. But I lost a trait when humans became terrestrial. What am I? The foot. The human foot is very much adapted to life on the ground. Because human feet are no longer used like a hand to hold or pick up objects, humans lost the opposable big toe. The bones in the foot are called metatarsals and phalanges. The human hand and foot both contain phalanges. I vary geographically. I can contain a lot of what aids in helping to process vitamin D, and I have a clinical distribution. What am I? Skin color. Geography is the reason humans experience variation in skin color. Humans are darker closer to the equator to protect against UV rays and lighter in regions further away from the equator in order to maximize UV exposure and maintain healthy amounts of vitamin D. Class, we have learned about a modern human handful of human adaptations today. Great job. Next, I will show these human adaptations next to the non-human primate equivalents. Okay, let's review. Masticatory muscles. Enamel thickness. Foramen magnum. S-shaped spine. Pelvis. Femur. Hands, feet, and finally, skin color. Congratulations, class. We have constructed a modern human.